Peace, people of God. Silence. Blessings and peace. Come on in the room. Um, there's a word from the Lord. Oh, Jesus. Come on in the room, people of God. All right. There is a word from the Lord on today. Some of you are getting weary in well-doing. Um, it's more like discouraged. And you actually are doing everything that you know to do. You are praying. You know, you're believing God. You're worshiping. Uh, you're praising God. You're reading your word. You're sowing into ministry. Your, your time, your gift is being used. You're doing all of the things that you know to do. And you're still getting weary because you feel like that it's not happening. The thing that you're believing God for is not happening. It's not coming. I can't see any movement. I can't see any action. Um, and I'm doing everything that I know to do, but I want to tell you, um, that you're, you're in the right place. And some people are like, I'm tired of praying. I done prayed every prayer I know to pray. You know, I done been prophesied to that it's going to happen and that it's going to come to pass. And I've, all these things, I know you're, it gets discouraging sometimes. And you're trying to figure out if there is actually more that you could be doing. Is there something else that you are supposed to be doing? And I want to come and tell you today that you are doing the right thing. You are in the right place. You are in the right position. You just have to hold tight. You've done everything that you can do. It's think, think about a seed. When a seed is being put into the ground, you can't keep digging up the seed to see if it's getting ready to be an apple tree. No, just hold tight. You're doing sometimes the you you've prayed about it. You've fasted. You've touched and agreed on it. All, sometimes all you have, you're down to the place where all you have is that you believe God. And that's all. You've done everything else. My God, you've pressed in. You've done everything else. You just got to stay in agreement that I believe God. I've done everything else that I can do. Because the devil will use that very area and he makes you think you're not doing enough and that God is not doing what God is doing. And so you got to go another way. That is why a lot of people go into witchcraft because they feel like God is not moving. I've prayed and I've fasted. And so now let me go into a little hoodoo and a little doo-doo and a little woo-doo. And we go into these things that are not of God because we want more. We, we feel like we want to be doing more. We need to come out. You're doing, you know, I'm tired of just praying about it. I want to be able to do more. It don't seem like prayer is enough. It doesn't seem like fasting is enough. It doesn't seem like worshiping God is enough. It doesn't seem like quoting scripture is enough. I want more. We, we always want more, but that going past the weapons that God has given you, now you're not doing what it is that God has called you to do. You feel like you want to be doing more, but I just want to tell you, you're doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing. It's not a new weapon, but it just seems like it could be more. There's no new weapons. You got prayer, you got praise, you got fasting, you got reading your word, you got staying in agreement, you got touching and agreeing, you got prophesying over your situation. Come on, you have the weapons. And the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're not worldly. They're not fleshy, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And sometimes the weapon that you have to believe, the weapon that you have to use is just that I simply believe God. It's just that I simply, I haven't seen it, but I simply believe and I simply know that God is going to do it. It doesn't make sense today. I can't quite grasp the whole full measure of it, but I just, something in me still believes God. Sometimes that's the weapon that you're down to. And you, you, I know, you know, we get to that place where we feel like, that there's something else left to do in this prayer. The only thing, I'm tired of y'all telling me to pray about it. I'm tired of y'all telling me to believe God. I'm tired of y'all telling me it just don't seem like enough. Well, the devil, he only got so many weapons. His weapon is just is still destruction. 
I know it seems like weed is a good weapon, but it don't do nothing but consume your mind, consume your money, consume your morals. I know it seems like that alcohol, if you just drank, or just drank to get over it. I know that seems like that's a good solution, but it's not. It's still destruction on the other side of that. When you wake up years later and you get uh, sclerosis of the liver and you've drank, your, drank yourself away, your brain cells are shot, your body's deteriorating, my God, and you've lost your family, it's still destruction. That's the only weapon that he has okay someone has done something to you and you go out and kill them it's still destruction because now you're setting your soul up to go to hell now you may lose your whole family now you may be in prison and you're locked away it's still destruction the wet but the, the enemy doesn't have any new weapons either so you can feel like that you're not doing enough and you're tired of praying about it and you're tired of fasting, you're tired of believing God. But if you switch teams, there's still no, his, his weapons list is limited also. Okay. So I just wanted someone to hang tight. Don't get discouraged. I know you can feel like that you're not doing enough and that Prayer is not working. And the thing that is going on right now in the spirit realm is that the devil is trying to make God out to be a liar in your mind, in your mind. And see, the thing is not always will God move your mountain. Not always will he shift the situation. Sometimes he's trying to teach you endurance. He's trying to teach you how to persevere, how to hold on, how to hang tight, how to have peace in chaos. You never learn what the peace that surpasses all understanding is if everything is always peaceful. You only can learn the peace that goes beyond what you can understand when you're in a situation that is this that's off the scale. I don't even, this ain't even registering. This is so ignorant. So I want to encourage somebody to just hold tight, hold tight. You're not limited as you think you are. The, you can begin to go into your mind and you feel weak. And all I do is pray and sing. And you know, I don't see nothing shaking. I don't see nothing breaking. But baby, I want you to know you got seed in the ground. Okay, you got seed in the ground and you just have to stay in agreement. God is birthing longevity and long suffering. He's maturing long suffering in you. You have to be able to endure a hard season without collapsing under the weight of the pressure. You have to be able to endure. Come on, this is why people don't last. It does, Life comes with pressure, whether you're on the side of the Lord or the side of the enemy. It all still comes with pressure. So let's just hold tight, get a new grip, okay? believe that God is still able. I don't, I might not even see it today. I might not even see it tomorrow, but God, somehow I believe that you're still able to do exactly what you said that you're going to do. He is still God. You are not limited. Do not get discouraged because you don't feel like you see movement. Okay. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So sometimes it's just believing God. It's just staying in agreement with, with what I believe about God. That is a weapon and I need you to use it in this season. Okay, I feel lonely. I understand, but you got to use the weapon saying that I know I might feel in my spirit lonely. I might feel like God is not with me. My God, I might feel, but at the end of the day, his word already has spoken over my life. He's already decreed and declared that he would never leave me nor forsake me. And he is not a man that he shall lie. So I may feel lonely, but I got to still believe. I got to push past my feelings and my emotions. And I have to know that God is with me. And I might feel like that where I'm at this season of my life, I might lose the thing that I really want to hold on to if I keep pursuing what God is telling me to pursue. But I got to pursue it anyway. And I just got to believe that God is going to bring all things around in time. But I cannot get out of position. Don't get out of position. That is the trick of the enemy. For you to get out of position, quit believing God, quit praying, quit fasting. Baby, you are putting seed in the ground and then you're watering the seed. But see, uh, you cannot have a whole harvest in one day. Come on. You can't plant the seed. You can't plant the seed and then dig, water the seed and the sun, seed gets sunshine and nourishment. And by 6 o'clock p.m. that evening, it's a full tree with mature fruit. It's happening behind the scenes.
okay? Believe God with your eyes closed. Don't lose faith. This is not the time to lose faith faith or lose heart, all right, people of God? So I pray that this message encouraged you. I pray that it was an on-time word just for you, just for you about the very thing that you're believing God for. I don't know if it's a prodigal son. I don't know if it's a prodigal daughter. I don't know if it's financial breakthrough. I don't know if it's healing for your body. I don't know if it's healing for your mind. But God, we just ask that you touch on today, God, your people, your children, Lord, teach them, touch them and meet them right there where they are, God. Those that are just waiting on you, oh great God, we come looking up to the hills from which cometh our help, God. We come saying, God, if you don't do it, it won't get done. If you don't hold me in this moment, God, I'm going to fall apart, God. If you don't regulate me in this moment, God, I'm not asking you to do nothing in my mama. I'm not asking you to do nothing in my daddy. I'm not asking you to do anything in my children. I'm not asking you to do anything in the church, God. But what I'm asking you to do is stabilize me. God, I'm asking you to regulate my mind. God, I'm asking you to strengthen me on today with strength that only comes from on high. Touch your people today in a way that only you know how, each and every individual under the sound of my voice. Do what only a real God can do. Lord, we bless you. We honor you. We call you holy and righteous. In Jesus' name, hallelujah and amen. All right, people of God, that's all I got this morning. Have a great day on purpose and know that if God be for you, if God be for you, that he is greater than the world against you. All right? All right, people of God, be encouraged. Blessings and peace. I'm Apostle Julia, and I am over and out. We do have church tonight at 8 p.m. We'll continue on with our youth conference, so make sure you join us tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Blessings and peace.